dear students now let us do exercise 4.1 and question number 1 is find all factors of the given numbers now first of all we have to find the factors of 8 so we will use the multiplication method now when we will multiply 1 by 8 we will get the answer as 8 because 1 8s are 8 and 1 times 8 times 1 is 8 and 1 times 8 is 8 so 1 8s are 8 then 2 fours are 8 then 3 no because 8 doesn't comes in the table of 3 then 4 but we need not to write 4 because 4 we are already having and 8 also we are already having so we need not to write here so we can write factors of 8 are first we will write these factors 1 Two, then we'll go up. Four and eight. So factors of eight are one, two, four, and eight. Now the next sum, and it is fifteen. We have to find the factors of fifteen. So let us find. First of all, let us begin with one. One into fifteen is fifteen because these are the two numbers by multiplying which we will get the. Answer means that number whose factors we are going to find. Multiplication says multiplication method says that we need those numbers by which uh, by multiplying which we can get the um, answer, um, the number whose factor we have to find. Now next is two. No, because fifteen does not come in the table of two. Then three. Yeah, three fives are fifteen. Then four. It's not. Then. Five, but five we have already got here. So five threes are fifteen, and fifteen ones are fifteen. So we need not to go beyond this. So we can write factors of fifteen are first. We will write these factors. So we'll come down one, three. Then we'll go up five and fifteen thirty six. Now again one into thirty six is thirty six. Then two into eighteen is thirty six. Then how you can find that two into eighteen is thirty six? You can divide thirty six by two. Fine, and you can have the answer. If this number will divide it completely, then it will be the factor, or you can multiply it. Otherwise, no. Then three, three into twelve. Is thirty six now four? Yes, four nines are thirty six. Now thirty six doesn't comes in the table of five. Then six, it is yes six six are thirty six. So now we need not to go beyond this because six six are is thirty six. So when we have got the highest number that is six six are thirty six, we have got some. Now we need not to go beyond this. Fine. So factors of thirty six are one, two, three, four, six. All the factors from this side, and then. We need not to repeat it. Then nine, twelve, eighteen, and thirty-six. So all these are the factors of thirty-six. Now next is fifty-four. So one into fifty-four is fifty-four. Now two. You can divide and check fifty-four divided by two. Two ones are sorry. Two twos are four. One carry four. Two sevens are fourteen. So two twenty sevens are fifty four. Now three. Uh, does three divides fifty four? You can divide and check. If the remainder is zero, yes, it's a factor. Otherwise, no. So you can divide. Fine. So it does not divide it completely. Then four, it's not five, it's not. Then six, it's yes. Six nines are. Fifty-four. Then seven. It's not eight. No, 
9 but 9 6 are is 54 so 9 we are already having here so we need not to go beyond this fine because we are again getting the same factor so we need not to go beyond we have to stop it here here also when we have got 6 6 are 36 fine so we have got the same factors here so it shows that we need not to go beyond this is it clear so we can write factors of 54 are 1 2 6 from this side and 9 27 and 54 from this side so dear students i hope you would have understood how to find the factors of a given number now the next question is question number 2 is 12 a factor of 5636 if you have to check whether the given number is a factor of another number that is given to you or not then in that case you need to divide it and if the remainder will be 0 yes that number is a factor of the given number if the remainder is not 0 it means no that factor is not the that number is not the factor of the given number because factors are the numbers which completely divides the number that is given to you completely divides means divides without any remainder when nothing is left after division so let us do it now first of all is fact 12 a factor of 5636 so we need to check it by using division 12 fours are 48 now we will subtract it 8 and this 3 will come here 12 6 are 72 again we will subtract and bring down this here now 12 9s are 108 now we are left with the remainder that is 8 it means if any remainder is left after dividing it means the number is not factor of the given number so we can write no 12 is not a factor of 5636 so this is how you can check whether a given number is a factor of the number or not